Yo, what up guys, it's Inu here and welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make this really smooth animation which can be used in so many different situations. It's actually pretty easy, so let's just jump right into the video. So first thing go ahead and open up Photoshop Touch and if you guys don't have it, the link is going to be in the description below and port on it the screenshot that you guys would like to apply this animation into and split it to three parts by selecting the area and then go ahead and press on this layers button, hit on the plus button and then hit layer from selection which is going to create a brand new layer from the selection you just selected. So for this screenshot, it's going to be my channel screenshot and I split it into three parts. The first part is the, uh, the the top of the screenshot that you just guys just saw. And the second one is this one right over here, which is the subscriber count plus the logo. So I selected that and let me go ahead and just hit on layer from selection. There you go. Now for the channel banner, I can easily go ahead and hit on reverse and then just select the first part of the banner, which is this part right over here. And then I'm only gonna have the banner select so if you are planning to animate your channel home screen i suggest you to use this trick it's very time saving so let's go ahead and do the same thing by uh, creating brand new layer and as you can see now i have three different parts of my screenshot which is the top the banner and the subscriber count which is actually perfect now let's go ahead and save each one of those backgrounds in the format png individually so make sure you save each one individually using the format png not jpeg so as you can see i only saved this one i'm going to save the other ones which is the banner and the subscriber account and i'll be right back all right now go ahead to kind master if you guys don't have kind master i will leave a link in the description below for the lastest version of kind master which have all of the animations on it in the description below without our mark okay now go ahead and just import all of the images that we just saved from photoshop touch into kai master and make sure you don't move their default possession otherwise they won't look good so if you don't move the default possession they will look like a perfect non crop to one piece so as you can see all of those layers are the images that we just uh, saved from photoshop touch which is the top one the banner and the subscriber count first thing what you have to do is you're gonna go ahead and just press on each one of them and hit on in animation and scroll all the way down and hit on enter slide up or enter slide down and then go ahead to the second one and do the exact same thing but make sure that if you selected enter slide up in the first one you select enter slide up animation on the second one as well as the third one make sure you don't change the animation so as you can see it looks pretty basic it doesn't look that good so to add that parallax effect into it all you have to do is to go ahead and do something called the staircase form so this is the first one right over here and we are going to leave it as it is but we are going to make sure that it is in the front just like this now let's go ahead and go to the banner one which is this one i guess right over here yeah this is the banner one and let's go ahead and make sure that it is in the back just like this and then go ahead and crop it just a little bit in the beginning well, first thing, let me go ahead and just zoom in so I can see better. Now let's go ahead and move on to the last part, which is that piece right over there. So let's go ahead and press on those three buttons and just send it to the back, just like this. Now let's go ahead and just remove a little bit from the beginning of this layer and make sure you just form a staircase from layers. That's why we call it the staircase form. So basically now, as you can see, the animations look a little bit robotic. It doesn't look that good. So to fix that, go ahead and just play with the animation timing. So go ahead and just go to the end animation and change every single one from one second to two seconds, just like this. And if you play back, as you can see, now we have this really smooth animation with that parallax effect. Everything looks like gold. I really love this animation. You can use this to so many things to present anything. I genuinely love this effect. I used it on my 50,000 subscribers special, which I thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. If you guys didn't see that video, go ahead and take a look at that. So I use this animation to present how many subscribers do I have. And I think this animation is brilliant. So if you wanna make your videos looks better, definitely go ahead and use this animation. It will make your video 
videos look so good so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you found this video helpful go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel if you didn't um, join me already leave a sweet comments down below on your way thank you guys so much for watching and peace out